tayo dito sa Kababayan Today at kasama ko naman ang mga kapatid ni Jackie Castillejo. Jackie, pakilala mo sa akin ang uh, napakaganda mong mga kapatid. Wow! Okay, first of all, ako yung pinakamaganda, as you can see. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Sorry, I'm just kidding. No, no. no ako yung eldest, di ba? Uh -oh. I'm the eldest. And then, yeah, I know, not <laughs> mentally, but... <Right. laughs> And then, younger than me is my sister, Nina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her real name's Yvette, but we call her Nina. She lives here at, at, uh, at the marina, Marina del yes, Rey. Yes, yes. And Southern then, California. our bunso, yung bunso namin, the youngest, mm -hmm. si Sarah, she now lives in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Oh, <laughs> okay. So you guys so are... You guys all married Americans, right? Yeah. And you're yeah. you're now here. You grew up in the Philippines. Yeah. What's your background? Where were you guys born? Manila. We were Manila. born in Manila. And then your born, mom. In, I was born in St. Luke's. I don't know where they're. Oh, born. the hospital. Ah, the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> but we your mom, your mom is from where? What province? Ah, my mom is from Cavite. I think Cavite. Cavite. Yeah. And your father? My father is from Isabela. Yeah. Isabela, yeah. but yeah. Spanish yeah. Filipino, de ba? Yeah, yeah. Casilejo. Yeah. Our oh. grandfather. See, so he's both. Spanish. When he was pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Paggalit Spanish, diba? Right. But you you all understand Spanish? Um, we can get by. Yeah, totally. Yeah. 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 If we go yeah. to Spain, yeah, pretty uh -oh. much. Yeah, so, no um, okay, I know that this is history in the making because uh -huh. these yeah, sisters, these sisters mm -hmm. were iconic uh -huh. tennis players because the, imagine four sisters all playing tennis and put everyone else to shame. So a lot of people spoke about the Castillejo sisters and uh, this is history in the making because you've never been interviewed together. Uh -huh. Not in America, right? Oh, so okay. this is history in the making. Thank you so much for gracing Only our show. Only because of you, Guapa. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank so you for let, having us. Let's yeah, talk about... The pressure mm -hmm. of growing up in the Philippines and and being athletes because your your father your very Filipino Spanish father uh, insisted on always being the best. Sarah, ha, ha, what memories mm -hmm. do you have of you know training and growing up and doing just that? It was tennis day in and day out. Yeah, it was pretty grueling. You know, before going to school, we had to wake up like at 5 in the morning, go around Green Hills, run a few laps, do a little calisthenics, stretching, and then get back home, then get to school. Uh, we went to high I went to high school in San Agustin. After, uh, after school, we'd go to the tennis club, Makati Sports Club. We'd play a few four hours five. there, four or five hours, get back home, same thing. So that was every your day. Life. Day in and day out. Did. Day in and day out. It was like a job. No, yeah. literally. It was like our father was like having a boot camp house. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I put it, put right, it now. Right, it's like, yeah. so how was it growing up in your house? And I'm like, well, looking back now, I'm doing all these boot camp classes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey, I've done this before. <laughs> no, so that's that's what. It and is. you know the funny part, Guapa or G, was that I remember. I don't know if you girls remember this. Mm -hmm. So it would be a little dark still, cause about five o'clock, and we're I mean we're young. Yeah. So what he would do was he would drop us in the shopping center, and it's about I'd say about three miles. Yes. All around, he'd follow us in the car. <laughs> Come on, keep yeah, running. Do you Stop remember me. that, Nina? Remember, yeah. he would be... Actually, he would run the yeah. opposite way. Sometimes, And yeah. then if we were too slow doing the lap, he'd say, speed it up. But, okay, <laughs> let, people might not understand. Your father was an athlete. Yes. Your mother was a beauty queen, diba? Right? Miss yeah, Philippines, 19... First runner-up. Oh, okay, 1950-something. Yeah, we'll not reveal that part. Yeah, we yeah. won't, because she still looks amazing at this age. Thank you. Okay, so... I know that all of you were able to get tennis scholarships to go to college here in America. Yeah. Talk to us about that experience because that's an amazing opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Actually, you know, my father was educated here. Mm -hmm. So he probably thought, okay, I was educated <laughs> here, so my kids will probably go as well. He'd mm -hmm. probably send us. Yeah. The part about getting scholarships mm -hmm. was just a bonus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that. I don't think he planned that part, but it just kind of happened. Because we all had international tennis rankings. It's the whole world. So it's wow. a junior ranking. Yeah. So that's kind of how, mm -hmm. what we do is we um, write to colleges. Mm -hmm. You actually write. Yes. And then they ask you, okay, so you what are your credentials? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But uh, so. G, what happened was, so I was the first, because obviously I'm the eldest, yes. so I had to go to college first. Mm -hmm. So we were playing a tournament actually where I live now in the Bay Area. Yeah. We were playing for the Philippines, and 
Uh, that, back in the day, the coaches were when there was still a budget for foreign students yes. in athletics. Yes, uh, was recruiting and just approached and said, "Hi, are you interested in coming to our college?" So anyway, fast forward, right? So I play there, and then I'm graduating. They go, uh, uh, "Are there Jackie, more like you? Are there any more like you?" I go, <laughs> "Actually, you should mention that I actually have three more, like you know, three more send sisters." Them over, send them over. Yeah, yeah. She really did a good job in like just representing us so well that the coach wanted. We had she got good grades. She did well in the actual team. Yeah, good record with the team, and yeah. so so Diane came, and then after Diane, they kind of went more into the south. But they went to South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Me and Diane started in a community college. Yes, they went straight to four-year colleges. I see. And Sarah was doing tennis. You were um, on scholarship, and then she was also studying to be a nurse. Wow. Okay, now so that I can't do. Okay. <laughs> well, I know, I Sarah, know that you have chil three children now, yes. right? Do they play tennis with you? My eldest, my daughter, she just turned 13 actually two days ago, and she's, she is big in tennis. She plays five, six days a week and does tournaments every other weekend. Wow, so history yes. repeats itself, yes, huh? Yes, yes. I'm okay. so proud of her. Wow. Okay, well, I'm so glad you guys are here, but, you know, one girl's missing, and we have to talk to her. No, she's, she's not here. She's, uh, yes. she's in Spain. She's in Spain, but you know what? Here on Kababayan today, we make things happen. So, no we are, yes, we are going to have Diane Castillejo uh, patch, patched from Spain, and we're going to talk to the girls about uh, their being sisters in the tennis circuit. So don't go away right here on Kababayan today.